What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. So if you're new to the channel, hi there. First and foremost, this entire video is going to be recorded with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So last year I made a video about renting a Tesla through Hertz and I'm gonna go through the same process in 2023, renting a Tesla through Hertz. It's more accessible. I'm here in Rochester, New York last year when I rented the Tesla and I put out that video and a lot of people did like it. Uh, there were some questions I didn't get to answer. I'm gonna hopefully answer those in this video. That was in Orlando. This here is in Rochester. It's more accessible now. Uh, I paid what, like 70 bucks to just rent this vehicle for a day. And then if you rent it further out, then you're definitely paying uh, less. You're definitely paying cheaper. And the great thing is when I went ahead and I rented this Tesla, this model is guaranteed. So this is a Tesla Model 3, uh, 260 mile range. So it's the base model. You're not getting any long range or performance model, anything like that. It's still really fast, still really good. And I'm gonna get right into it. So first of all, you see right here, they're all default pretty much in this black. It's not even a matte finish. It's like this glossy black feel to it. And I don't like it. It gets really hot inside the car. So I came here to the Tesla supercharger station and they only have one here in Rochester uh, at Eastview Mall in Victor, New York. So I had about 65% charge. I went ahead and if you take a look right inside there, oh, there you go. I was charging, put in 65% um, like five minutes ago and right now it's already at 80% and there's 20 minutes remaining. And I'm gonna show you how much I'm going to be charged. And what happens is you do get charged for the charging. When you do charge up this vehicle, uh, Hertz goes ahead and when you return it, um, they charge you later on. Uh, so here it is, it's plugged in charge right now. It's charging and I'm actually gonna go ahead and get in the car. So they give you a Tesla key just like this. You can't really take it out or anything. Uh, I know if you do own a Tesla, you can use a Tesla app, but when you're renting a Tesla, obviously you don't have the luxury of doing that. Let's get inside the car. All right, so here we go. The first thing you gotta do, let's go into ultra wide. We're gonna place the key card right there or the card key right there. So 20 minutes remaining, 82% charge. Let's go ahead and take a look. So 221 miles. And if I wanna go into charging right here, it does show that right now uh, I charged it from 65 to what, what was it? Like 83% charge right now. And I did pay about $4.80. Sense. So you can actually not charge it, take it to your, your local Hertz when you're returning the vehicle, pay an extra fee um, if you can't charge it on time. But uh, if you don't pay that extra fee, then you kind of have to charge it uh, and take it to your Hertz location fully charged. Um, and you have to ask for that too. They're not going to tell you, hey, do you want to pay an extra 35, 40, whatever it is to not charge the vehicle and just bring it to us. Uh, you have to ask for that. Sometimes they don't tell you, and then there's some misunderstanding. So uh, 66 kilowatt hours, uh, and right now I just gained 12 kilowatt hours. The limit obviously is 100, only 260 miles of range. Uh, and I did actually try this out last month. I took this on a six hour road trip. Well, six hours without charging essentially, but that six hour became seven and a half hours uh, due to charging. Uh, and in that experience, it took me about 25, 30 minutes to supercharge as well because it goes up to 150, 200 kilowatts hours of uh, charging. So it is pretty, pretty fast. Now, right here, same Model 3 interior, very simple. There is rumors of a Model 3 interior uh, refresh as well as exterior refresh with the front and the back. That is actually a slated to come out in Q3 of 2023, and I'm really excited to check that out. It's called Project Highland. Uh, hasn't been officially confirmed, but it looks like factories right now, uh, Gigafactories are gearing up to start production of Project Highland. So fairly simple interior. Everything right here, you have your, your gear shift paddle right here uh, with the, the new uh, rumored 
update interior refresh it looks like we're not going to have any of this uh, but everything else is on screen now one of the questions i remember in the comments is does this model have fsd full self driving it does not it has like lane assist like if i'm shifting into another lane it'll kind of push me back in to my current lane uh and it does it does have regenerative braking i believe it was, it was called right here so it does have that uh and it takes some time to get used to at first and um it also takes some time to get used to this gear shift paddle if you're not used to it if you're used to your shift paddle right in the center console right here so now that i have my card key right here i mean i'm all set to drive essentially i would just have to take out the charging port and i'm going to let charge for just a little bit longer so some other questions i did come across in the comment section is how is the experience like how did you go ahead and reserve this pick it up and whatnot so it was different each time but this time it was fairly straightforward so i went ahead through the hertz app and i rented the vehicle and it pretty much says uh this model is guaranteed so i went ahead and i rented for one day and that was it i got my confirmation number i was all set to go i just needed to show up at my designated hertz location at that given time i went uh, i gave them my confirmation number they just handed me the keys uh, and i was all set to go uh, with this specific time i rented uh, they had just finished up charging the vehicle and they brought it to me most of the times they'll have it already charged you can just go ahead uh, and pretty much pick it up just like that and if you're new to driving a tesla and you just don't know like the general uh, the gear shift paddle and whatnot uh, they will assist you they will sit here and sit next to you and kind of show you the basics uh, so you can kind of get on your feet and just drive on your own but if you know how to drive a tesla they're all the same then you just put in your card key right here in the center and you're all set to go and drive now driving experience this thing takes off very quickly it it goes really fast and sometimes i have to pay attention with this vehicle i do have to pay attention to my speed limit because sometimes i do lose track of the speed like it'll say speed is 45 but it doesn't feel like I'm going 45 miles an hour. It feels like I'm going 55, 60 miles an hour. And same thing, the higher I get, I just don't feel like I'm going 65. I feel like um, if I'm going 75, 80, for example, it feels like I'm not going that speed. It feels like I'm going slower. So you do have to pay attention when you are, uh, when you are driving your designated Tesla. There is Model Y's two for rent. I haven't come across any uh, and that actually Model Y is the, the best selling vehicle right now, I believe in the entire world, surpassed Toyota Corolla. So that does mean a lot. And I think model when Model 3, this specific model gets an interior and exterior refresh with Project Highland, they're going to sell a lot too. I have my eyes on the refresh of the Model 3 uh, and hopefully that is the next vehicle I'm looking to purchase for myself, hopefully. Not anytime soon, but it's definitely in the works. Uh, I know, and if I do ever get a Tesla, um, definitely going to have more content on that vehicle as well on the channel. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more Tesla content. Uh, but yeah, it was very straightforward picking up the vehicle. I'm going to be returning it later this evening. Uh, I pull up into my Hertz location. I just drop in the keys, make sure I got all my belongings, and I'm all good that's really it it's it's become as easy as renting a normal vehicle and look 10 minutes remaining i have 92 percent charge essentially i can kind of just go on with my day and uh continue but i'm gonna just wait a little bit longer okay so now i'm gonna go through a couple other questions uh this one says does hertz check your driving record just to rent no they don't uh in fact they don't even really check your age i know the age is 25 and older but if you are 18 to 24 you just pay an extra fee and you're still able to rent the tesla so, but if you're 25 and older you don't need to pay that extra fee um let's see what else is there does autopilot work if it's if you're talking about full self-driving there is no full self-driving on here but autopilot like cruise control put it that way 
that does work and it works really well. Uh, so with older vehicle with older vehicles like my 2012 Honda Civic, it doesn't have. So this is the first time I'm experiencing it. But let's say there's a vehicle right in front of me, and I'm in cruise control. My cruise control is 65, and the person in front of me is driving 60. It'll slow down accordingly and keep that distance in between the vehicle in front of you. I know other uh, manufacturers and other car companies do that as well. First time I'm experiencing it. And it's the first time with a Tesla, um, but I know other vehicles have that as well. Uh, and it all depends on pretty much what time of year you also do per or rent the vehicle to. Uh, the farther out you rent it, and if you rent it in a time where rentals are not that expensive, you're going to find a pretty good deal right now. Um, for the Tesla charging station, do you just plug in the thing and charge? And how do they know who to bill? So when I sat down here, I parked my vehicle, I went ahead into charging right here. Uh, and actually right now it's at $8.07. That's actually pretty good. Now, I just hit open charge port. I went in or I went out of the vehicle and I plugged in the charger and it's charging right now. When it's done, I'm gonna hit stop charging, pull that out and I'm also to go and automatically the charge port closes on its own. And Hertz does charge you. And I learned that afterwards too. At first when I, like the first time I rented this vehicle last year, I didn't know, but I realized afterwards and I called Hertz and like, yeah, that's your current session or your sessions of charging. Uh, we bill you for that. Um, and I kind of wish they told that beforehand, but I had to learn it that way. No need, like I'll pay for my charging, it's my charging, but I wish they would have told me how that works too. So like afterwards, I know I'm going to be charged an extra amount. Now, I haven't had any complaints with Hertz so far. Uh, there have been complaints, Hertz charging extra and going through other things, but my experience with Hertz is my third time renting this vehicle. Uh, hasn't given me any issue whatsoever. So. Again, how do you pay for a supercharger? You just plug it in, you charge, and then after you return the vehicle, uh, Hertz does charge you. So whatever card you have on on file, that's going to what that's the card that's going to be charged. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay, it doesn't have Android Auto, it but it really has a smooth, intuitive experience. Like this software right here is really smooth, uh, and I know there are other applications that you can use, like theater. You can use Netflix and when that's available and it's connected to Wi-Fi, you can connect it to your hotspot too. You can watch Netflix, Twitch, YouTube, and whatnot. I, just for the sake of this being a rental, I'm not doing that. But if it was my own vehicle, I probably would if I'm going to be sitting in the car. I have a large screen right here. Why not watch YouTube videos like this one here? Now, rented out a Tesla for Uber. It's awesome. That's That's pretty cool but a lot of people had questions about the charging and that's really it about the charging if you have any more questions in this video let me know in the comments down below and i'm also actually going to be leaving my latest wallpaper pack right here on the samsung galaxy s23 ultra it is called jello this is my favorite wallpaper pack by far if you want to check it out links in the description down below but i'm going to keep you guys updated hopefully uh if i ever do purchase a Tesla uh, for myself. Model 3 is what I'm looking at. And I hope I was able to answer your questions. And I hope you just like this straightforward iPhone quality video. Uh, be sure to check out the links in the description down below. Uh, like this Aura ring right here. Google Pixel Watch, my daily drivers right here. If you did enjoy, be sure to zoom in that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.